let me know, okay? On PC 2491 Young, okay, watch thank here, you. please. Thank I've you. asked you to leave the live cordon. The bathroom, this is the only reason why I put my camera out. Well, I've got my camera on as well. It doesn't matter about your camera, my camera is more important yeah, than yours. Sorry. You have the right to like, comment and subscribe. Anything you do can and will help us make more amazing content. You have the right to share this video with your friends. If you do not have any friends, consider joining our family where you can find like-minded individuals. On May 3rd, 2024, at approximately 2.30 p.m., emergency services responded to a report of a suspicious package found in a shop on Queen's Road, Nuneaton. A 100-metre cordon was quickly established around the town centre. Gents' barbers fell within the cordon. The following footage showcases a heated interaction between the barber and the police officers. Let me know, okay? On PC 2491 Young, okay, watch thank here, you. please. Thank I've asked you to leave the live cordon. 24274. 24274. And then what's the point? Huh? Why do we show up the shop for? Because there's a live incident currently happening in the Nathan okay. Town Centre. We've got multiple cordons in place and your okay. shop falls within the cordon. We've asked you four Can times. number two, please? Of course, 1446. Yeah. Now, okay. I'm going to explain to your camera, okay. okay? We are dealing with a serious incident in which people may be hurt, okay? okay. I do not have the time, okay, okay to explain to you. Okay. Okay. Why? All That's right. Fine. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. It. Thank you, guys. You can have. Okay. Can we'll you leave? We'll you have, have a discussion about this later. No. Okay. But okay. it is of the t it time is of the essence that you must be leaving now. Yeah. Okay? Sure. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Oh, no. Can I have your badge number as well? Yes, of course, A 40-year-old individual from London was arrested on suspicion of making the hoax bomb threat. The suspect remained in custody as investigations continued. Warwickshire Police thanked the local community for their patience and assistance. The man in the picture was arrested in February 2024 after punching someone twice in a fight at a bar. Officers arrived on the scene and used mace to detain the man. The cell CCTV shows the man unsteady on his feet and holding the wall in an attempt to steady his balance. He says he cannot see due to being sprayed in the face. Officers instructed the man to comply, but his actions were deemed too slow. An officer loses his patience and runs at the man. Four colleagues follow. They push him to the floor. It appears that one of the officers accidentally punches the man as he is attempting to put him into the headlock. Officers then remove the man's clothing, including his boxers, and leave him on the floor in a prone position. The officer in the previous video has a history of misconduct. In this video from 2023, PC Winberg dragged a 63-year-old cancer patient out of his vehicle because the driver challenged the stop. PC Winberg forces the man out of the vehicle and then pushes the man to the ground, then insists that the man rolls over for him. Footage shows that the driver did not act violently, but Winberg claimed that simply lying down on the road was insufficient. Because I'm reporting you for a, an offence of not wearing your seatbelt. Because I've seen you drive, so I'm wearing your seatbelt on. You haven't seen me drive. Well, I have, okay? Well, where is it now? Well, it's on now because you've just put it on. No, I haven't just put it on. Right, are you going to tell me your name? Do I have to? Yes, you do. And it is, it is. I'm the section, section 29 of P Pace. If you fail to tell me your name, I can arrest you. Exactly. Yes, I can. What? It's under the law. PC Winberg admitted breaching the standard of professional behaviour on authority, respect and courtesy, but denied his wrongful use of force. Two males were stopped by Met Police officers following a serious assault at the Notting Hill Carnival back in 2017. The American gentleman immediately started to record the interaction, displaying an abundance of arrogance and ignorance. 
Uh, well, we're still investigating what's gone on here. Something's happened. There's an allegation of crime, and we need to work out what's going on. Okay. Do you have a description of those people? Of, we of do. Yeah. Okay. Do we? Do either one of us for description? Uh, one of us. At the moment, yes. Okay. So which one needs to go then? You both need to stay. Come on. There's a black guy and a white guy here. One of us for the description. No. You both need to stay. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, what's it on what grounds? On what grounds is because we don't know what's going on at the moment. Well, you need to find out because we well, need to go. Well, that's what we're doing, sir. All I right. promise, sir, I promise you we won't keep you here any longer than we need to. No, it's the fact that they don't want to let him use his phone and use the bathroom. This no. is the only reason why I pull my camera out. Well, I've got my camera on as well. It doesn't so. matter about your camera. My camera is more important uh, than yours. Really All right. In a significant crackdown on crime, the Metropolitan Police have arrested and prosecuted prolific phone thief Sonny Stringer. Operating across London, Stringer was responsible for a spree of thefts, targeting unsuspecting commuters and tourists. He was picked up by CCTV and control staff alerted teams on the ground. The pursuit did not last long, but Stringer was riding at over 50 miles per hour. He and his partner in crime we determined to escape. But a tactical stop put Sonny Stringer behind bars for good. Stringer was T-packed as he reduced speed. He was found to have 24 stolen mobile phones on him. In April 2023, Guernsey police officer's body camera footage showed him riding at up to 59 miles per hour in a 20 miles per hour zone and often on the wrong side of the road when not in active pursuit of a suspect. The officer claims he was trying to get there as quickly as possible to support his colleague. Investigation concluded that the officer may have been subject to what is referred to as red mist. This term describes a complex emotional situation affecting the state of mind of the driver, who has become so focused on the pursuit they may have lost the ability to assess driving risk. Persons engaged in active pursuit must be able to identify indications of red mist in themselves and others and take appropriate actions. Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. If you made it this far, consider leaving us a like. And if you are new here, give us a follow. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.